Relax yourself. Take a deep breath in and out. In and out. And see yourself sitting here in front of your altar. And with your feet, reach down and grow out some roots down through the floor, down through the basement, into the moist soil beneath your house. And grow the roots down deep into the earth, around the rocks, around the boulders, seeking the waters far below the earth. Keep on going down till you find the bedrock, and within there you'll find the wall. Reach into the waters and start sucking them up into your roots, with them up into your feet, into your legs. Feel this water coming up through your loins and into your belly. Rejoice in this water coming up into your chest, your head, through your arms and back into the earth. Waters, waters of chaos running from far below up into your body. Now look up to the sky, high through the roof, to reach up with your arms and with your branches up into the sky to find that star directly above you. Pull the light from the star down into your branches. See your hands and your arms shimmering with this light. Bring this light down through your head, into your chest, into your belly. Mix it with the waters coming up from below. Mix it in your legs, in your feet. As you draw the waters of chaos from below, pull down the light of order from above and mix them throughout your body. Feel the energy moving within you. These two powers filling you with all this wonderful, amazing energy. You're going to keep what you need and return what you don't. When you're ready, push the light back up into the sky, push the waters back down into the ground. So pull in your branches and your roots but no, you can always go back and find that energy again if you ever need to. For now, you would be right in, and out, in, out. And when you're ready, rejoin us. Uh, first, take offerings to the Earth Mother, you who surround us, who support us. You give us the food that we need to survive. You who give us a place to live. You who makes life interesting with the weather that we all experience. For all that you do for us in our daily lives, Earth Mother. Accept our offerings. We are here to honor the gods. I think today we're also here to honor the Earth Mother and ask that she start coming back to her normal self. Where it has been a very interesting uh, summer for the Northern Hemisphere. First, we recreate our hallows. We start with the waters. With this well, you know, if we're sober, in my house and in all of our houses, connect us with all those below, the ancestors. Sacred waters flow within us. And to this fire, we offer this incense to connect us with all those above, shining ones. 
and say, sacred fires burn within us as we hope the incense actually catches. A mighty tree whose roots goes deep into the well and the underworlds. Branches reach high as the sky and the upper worlds. We call on you to be our pathway between all the worlds today. It's a sacred tree grow within us. And my grove and our all of our groves, the light of the water, the light of the fire, this grove is made whole and holy. By the light of the water, and the light of the fire, this grove is made whole and holy. The gatekeepers all, all of you who've called on in the many years to aid us in this task. We call to you once more to join us, to aid us with opening the gates, be our messengers, to protect us, to guide us in our works this evening. Gatekeepers all, accept our offerings. Now, not just in my home, but in all of our homes, let the waters and the well open as a gate to the underworld. The fire and the flame open as a gate to the upper world. And let the tree grow deep under the earth high in the skies and be our crossroads between all the worlds open to our spirits and open to our voices but the gates be open first make offerings to the shining ones gods and goddesses of elder days you who look over each and every one of us in our works, you who we call matrons and patrons, you who are buried in this very land, and attached to this very land, whether we know you or not. Shining ones, mighty deities, we offer you welcome. Shining ones, accept our offerings. And land spirits, you have fur and feather, scale and skin, leaf and twig, stem and flower, and the unseen, the house lights, the elves, the dwarfs, the fae, and what other other names you may go by. To all of you, unseen and unseen land spirits, we offer you welcome. And land spirits, Accept our offerings. And mighty ancestors, you have walked this land long before us. Be you of our blood and those in our families. Be you of our friends and those who we have chosen to honor as such. Or be you of this very place, known to us or unknown. Ancestors, we offer you welcome. Ancestors, accept our offerings. And now, if you have offerings of your own to make, please make them to the kindred or to the Earth Mother. Pray and offer and ask that you come back to a normal system. The fires in the west and the north, the waters in the east, and the 
heat in your along with the dryness in your we are suffering we ask eternal humanity There are no more offerings to be made. Mighty kindred, Earth Mother, I give to you one last time. Yes. Mighty kindred and Earth Mother, accept our sacrifice. Oh. And ancestors, what blessings do you give us tonight? Give us Thorazaz, the thorn. This could be protection, or this could be the literal thorn. Masters, what blessings do you give us? They give us Behu, which is cattle and wealth. And Shining One, what blessings do you give us today? They give us Burkano, the birch, new growth and new beginnings. And since we gave to you, Earth Mother, what blessings do you give to us today? She gives us tiwas, right action, one of the more difficult rooms to uphold. I read this as we're getting protection from the from the ancestors. They're watching over us. The land spirits will bring us bounty. The deities are here and asking for us to start start something new and be with them. And the Earth Mother is saying, you know what you need to do and do it. I think these omens are good. Do we accept these omens? Then, as we accept these omens, in my waters and in all of our waters, we ask that you fill these waters up with these omens. Fill them with protection of Thurazaz, the wealth of Bethany, the beginnings of Akanu, and the right actions of Tilos. Fill these waters with these blessings we have just received. My house and in all of our house. Behold the waters of life. And now we thank all of that have culminated us. Ancestors. All of you that surround us and support us throughout our daily lives for all that you do for us, ancestors, we thank you. And land spirits, be you domesticated or other, the animals, the plants, seen and the unseen, for all that you do for us throughout our daily lives. Masters, we thank you. And shining ones, gods and goddesses, be you known to us or not, you who look over us and our property, our friends and our family, all of you that we interact with, 
shining ones for all that you do. We thank you. And gatekeepers, all who once more brought back these wonderful messages and sent our prayers far and wide for all that you have done. We thank you. Then we ask once more you join your match with ours in my house and all of our houses. Let the well become but water once more. Let the fire become but flame once more. Let the tree become but a tree once more. Let the gates be closed. And the earth mother, we have given to you, we honor you, we respect you. And while we ask that you return back to our normal our weather, we do understand if you don't. And we will adapt. For all you do for us, Earth Mother, Earth Mother, we thank you. And go now, children of Earth, in wisdom and peace, to the right has come.